Truckee, California is typically known as a spot where the Donner Party went through or a place to stop by before heading to Lake Tahoe. But what it's not known for, and maybe it should be, is the plethora of talented artists who reside there. Most people who visit the area are drawn to the mountains for skiing and snowboarding, but others have settled due to the laid-back vibe and sense of community. From photographers to glassblowers, Truckee has every artisan you can think of. And for this visit to Truckee, we stopped by to talk to one of the newest artists to call Truckee her home. My name is Kaylee Veneman. Um, I'm from Buffalo, New York, originally. Um, and I have found my way out to Truckee, California. Originally for snowboarding, not for tattoos. I remember seeing people with tattoos when I was younger, and I thought it was like super cool, but neither of my parents really said anything about it. It wasn't like a good or a bad thing. And then I got my first tattoo, and I was really nervous, and I used to work, like I kind of worked at that shop. I would answer the phones and clean up, and. That was my real first job. And then I got my first tattoo there and I was super nervous and it wasn't as bad. And then from there I just wanted to, like I wanted to be part of it because I like, everything I do is kind of based around art and drawing and painting and every medium I can think of really. So I've wanted to do it for a long time, but it's not something that you can just like apply for. You have to find someone to apprentice under like you would as anything that's a like trade based. You gotta find somebody that's willing to teach you and that's kind of like a big undertaking for somebody is to have someone that doesn't know what they're doing kind of hanging around the whole time and having to work and have the pressure of putting something on someone that's gonna be permanent and make sure they're having a good experience while they also have a little like lingerer you know like not saying something wrong or whatever so it is it's a it, you have to find the right person. Who is your teacher here? Mark Larson. He owns Truth Tattoo in Truckee. And he, when I came into the shop, I had gone to a pre, another shop in town and asked about it and they were just not, you know, it wasn't fun. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't a great experience. So I came sure. here and asked Mark and he was really nice and forward with me and said, you know, I, I have an apprentice. He was like, I'm, I'm, I'm focused on Austin and he's my attention right now. Maybe by next summer, you know, if you're still interested, um, you know, come back and we'll talk about it then. And I just kind of, kind of kept crawling up his ass and staying on his radar until uh, he finally said, "Yeah, let's let's give it a shot." So. After meeting Mark and accepting the apprenticeship, Kaylee was ready to go. Unfortunately, the coronavirus had just hit as soon as she accepted her apprenticeship. Although they do maintain their safe practices, they have also included the new regulations that are required by the state. My apprenticeship officially started um, in August, which was like right after COVID. It was supposed to start earlier and then COVID happened. So when I came back, there's all these new protocols. So what we do is we send an email, you contact us, we tell you, okay, like we'll set a time for you to come in for a consult to talk to, you know, Mark or myself or Austin or whatever, whoever's gonna be tattooing you. We also have a questionnaire that goes out that you fill out before you come in. It says, do you feel sick and all that good stuff. Like same thing as you would go to a doctor or dentist. This is a private studio. This isn't a, um, the door stays locked. Um, until we don't have walk-ins here. We know who's coming in and out because they're scheduled. Um, so they come in, we do the temperature, like the forehead little clicker thing, and then you, you talk about what you want, um, wear the masks and stuff. We also tell everybody that, you know, if for whatever reason that they get sick, you know, within two weeks of being here, we ask that they give us a call, let us know, and then vice versa, like if any of us get sick, we'll call all of our clients for the last two weeks and let them know that you know there was possible exposure we are in close contact with people like while we're doing tattoos because it's like hours it's not a quick process it's anywhere from an it's usually it's usually more than an hour unless it's a small little like touch up or something it's over an hour figure anywhere from one hour touch up to a seven hour full day session that's a lot of exposure even with the mask on so the thing with it is is we keep the fan consistently blowing when we have people in here we have consistent air flow and the windows are open 
We also sanitize every touchable surface just for our practices as a tattoo shop alone. It's like medical grade. Like it's got to kill essentially any bloodborne pathogen such as HIV or hepatitis. There is nothing living on these surfaces when we're done cleaning them. There is no possible way that stuff will peel your skin off your fingers. We do our best to, you know, everything from light switches to handrails to doorknobs, everything that you could possibly touch on your way in and out of here gets wiped. So that's how COVID's going. Most newcomers to the tattoo industry are required to apprentice for around a year. However, due to Kaylee's passion and drive for the art form, she is accelerating her timetable and is well on her way to becoming a fully licensed tattoo artist and to making a 13 year long dream become a reality. My trajectory here is to find my own style in like neo-traditional, really colorful, kind of cartoon style, but not more where like not where it goes into like new school and then like spooky shit, like little scary little three-eyed monster bite your face off, creepy little butterflies with little, you know, like thing and kind of market that out. And then the people that want to come to me, I don't want to necessarily, like if you want to come in and get your dog print and like, that's cute. I'm happy to do that for you, um, but I also want people to come to me because they genuinely like the art that I'm interested in so that I don't become somebody who doesn't care about your tattoo. I want to not become somebody who's just doing tattoos for the money and I want it to be a career job and obviously I want to be able to eat. I don't want to be a homeless tattoo artist. I want people to come to me because they like what I do. Like yeah, I can still give you your paw print but I want people to come to me because they want a spooky paw print. You know, like I like that weird shit. So if you want some weird shit, I want you to be, you want, want to come to me with it. Not for, you know, I got drunk and I want this tattoo with my best friend. Like, I'll do it for you guys. Like, that's cute. Like, I'll do it once in a while because it's fun and I like your energy. But like, I, I want to be an artist, not a, you know, like tourist attraction.